Welcome to First Strike Tennis and thanks again for purchasing your net checker. In this short demonstrational video we're going to provide you with a very simple yet very effective drill that can be done to rapidly increase the speed of your performance. And this drill can be utilized with anyone from a beginner or a recreational player right the way up into the professional level. So take a look at this video and if you have any questions always feel free to email us here at First Strike Tennis. Enjoy the video. In this simple serving drill, I set the height of the net checker to three feet above the height of the net, and I instruct my students to hit a first serve and then a second serve. Now, what I like to work on is working on contrast. So if a player is having particular trouble with, say, a kick serve or a slice, rather than arduously just hitting 200 of the same serves, using a hot and cold method where they get to feel the differences between contact points and mechanics can often be far more beneficial. So in this video here, I'm having them hit a kick serve as shown there, over the height of the rope that's been set up and then I'll have them hit a first serve under the rope with slice and this really gives them feeling of different contacts and mechanics and again here you'll see the second serve now is going to go way above the height of the rope a lot of players at all levels don't fully understand the mechanics required to hit an effective kick serve or even a slice serve as you can see here as I've mentioned I'm going to go over and under the net depending on the style of serve but what's very important in this video is you'll notice here on the second serve how I'm not only getting the ball over the net, but I'm getting it over the net comfortably so that I can really create an arc on the ball and a safety. Remember, as a second serve, it is crucial here that we do not miss it. So giving ourselves margin over that rope is essential. And what we'll do here in this next part of the video is we'll just slow it down a little bit right here so that you can see exactly how high I can get that ball to come over the net and still land way inside the box.